Welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by EnvisionCAD. In this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at solids modeling and the 3D primitives. From the uh, solids modeling task here, I'm going to open up the toolbox for primitive solids. And what we're going to do in this example is draw or create a 3D solid for a street light. And we're just going to use uh, two of the tools, slab solid and pyramid solid, to do this. And then uh, we're also going to be using AccuDraw quite heavily through this example. So I'll be explaining what I'm doing with AccuDraw, but you might have to watch the video a couple times in order to catch up if you're not actually using AccuDraw. So I'm just going to set the active level here. I'm just going to use uh, Street Light Viz, set everything to by level here. And then I'm going to start modeling it. And basically what I'm going to have is a pyramid solid for the base, and then a slab solid for the uh, height of the light pole, and then slab solid again for the uh, mast and the actual light fixture itself. So those are the two tools that will create this entire street light. So I'm going to start with the uh, pyramid solid here. And I want to place it uh, with my uh, tool settings here. I pick my tool and check my tool settings. We've got different methods. We can do it uh, based on the inside diameter of a circle or the outside diameter of the circle, or by edge. And then there's also rectangle. And I'm going to be placing mine by rectangle. And you can practice the other ones if you want. So what I'm going to do here is uh, check that on. If I actually knew the heights and widths of everything, I could toggle those in and fill in these fields. Um, and I, but I do want to make sure that I'm going to be placing it orthogonal. So I'm going to start uh, placing this primitive solid. And I want to place it at 0, 0. So I'm just going to start off right away with uh, AccuDraw here and the P for place data point key in. It's the same thing as going to your key in browser and typing in x, y, equal, but it saves me that step. And then I'm just going to do a 0, 0, 0, and hit enter. And that starts drawing the primitive solid at the 0, 0 coordinate for me. And then I'm going to nudge using my AccuDraw compass. And if your compass is rotated in a weird rotation, you can always get it back to top. So it's in a top rotation with T for top. And then I'm going to nudge my cursor over. I'm going to type in 1 and then nudge my cursor in the uh, Y direction and type in one again, and then accept it. And then you'll notice that my compass, my AccuDraw compass already rotates into the Z, giving me the height of my base for my street light. So I'm gonna nudge myself up and I'm gonna go uh, two feet for the height of the base and accept that. Now, again, my compass keeps rotating for me. That's why it's nice to use AccuDraw with these tools. And then I want to expand this out 0.2. So the top of it is going to be 0 0.2 in the x direction and 0 0.2 again in the y direction. So now I have my pyramid base for my street light. The next thing I'm going to do is place the, uh, the height of the street light and I'm going to use a slab solid for this one. I'm going to go to slab solid. Again, check my tool settings here. I'm going to be using AccuDraw for my axis. I'm going to keep it ortho and then I'll be typing in AccuDraw the length, the width, and the height here as well. So my start point is just going to be one corner of the uh, pyramid solid and then my compass rotates in here for me and I can accept the other corner and then I'm defining the, uh, the width of the solid with another snap point into the top of the pyramid and then my compass will rotate I give it a nudge up I can type in 12 into the uh, X field up there and accept that. So now I've got the uh, street light here, I've got my base, and I've got the uh, height of my street light. Now what I want to do is model the, the light itself up on top using some more slab solids. So what I want to do is draw the uh, mast uh, down a quarter of a foot and then out. So what I'm going to do is place a solid, slab solid. I'm going to tentative snap into that upper corner, type in the O command for AccuDraw which will set the compass origin at that location. If I get myself rotated back to a front rotation and nudge myself down, I can type in 0.25, and what this does is it'll have a starting point, and then when I hit my data point, now it's actually gonna start drawing my slab solid for me. So I didn't have to draw a construction line to locate that point. And then I'm gonna go over 0.4 and accept that, and then again, the width will be uh, a quarter foot, and then the length of this, is, or the height of it, is going to be uh, 0.8. So it's going to come out away from the uh, post 0.8. And the last piece I'm going to draw is actually the fixture, the light fixture itself. So that'll be another slab solid. And this one will just be, uh, if I rotate myself to a top rotation here, one foot over, 
one and a half feet long and then a quarter foot high. And then I can just move these two together. So I'm just going to do a move command here and move them together. Now, I also want to put the uh, glass in here uh, for the street light. So I'm just going to use the same uh, slab solid here and just copy it. So I do a copy command, but I want to change its color so it doesn't have the same material setting. So I'm going to change its color and I'll just uh, make it uh, a yellow or maybe a, a cyan. Okay. So now you can see the different plate pieces that I put together here to create this street light. And if I go to a uh, display style, for example, illustration with shadows, you can actually see here, and let me turn on default lighting so it brightens it up a little bit. So you can actually see I've got basically my uh, street light modeled. So now I've got the street light drawn, what I want to do is take the individual solids and then unite them together. And then once they're united, then we can uh, address the edges and clean up the edges so it looks a little more realistic. So I'm just going to create a selection set of all the solids. And then I'm going to use the tool called Unite Solids, which will basically weld them or put them together. And then I can accept that. And once they've been created as one solid, now I can go in here and maybe take a look at the top of this uh, street light and maybe clean this up a little bit so it looks more, a little more realistic. For example, maybe I want to go to uh, filleted edges. And I'm going to change my display style here to transparency, maybe with shadow so you guys can see what's going on. And I'm going to do again, fill it with edges. And we'll just work with uh, point 0.1 to start with and see what that looks like. So what I want to do is maybe grab this edge right here and accept it. And what that does is it fillets that edge for me. So it actually creates this rounded filleted edge in a 3D solid. And I'll do the same thing on the underside. And then maybe on the inside here as well, if I hold down the control key, I can go in here and start grabbing more edges at, um, at a time and then left click to accept it. And I can just start rounding all these edges together. Maybe up on top here, I want to do the same thing. So I accept the top and then hold down the control key and grab all four edges of the top and round that so it's nice round on top. Maybe I want to get on the top, change my value here to 0.05 and then select the edges up on top again, holding down the control key and maybe round everything up on top as well. So now that I've got this kind of coming together, you can kind of see how I can create with just simple slab solids and then start smoothing out all the edges so it looks a little more realistic. I'll do the same thing here with the light. I want to make it a little more rounded. So I'm going to use uh, filleted edges and uh, use like a 0.15 for these. And then again, select the tangent edges out here. And I'm, again, I'm holding down the control key and grabbed all four bottom edges of that and accept it. And now what it did is it created a very nice rounded piece of glass for me underneath that light. So that's creating a street light with just slab solid and pyramid solid. And then we united them. And then we uh, used the fillet edges or we could have used chamfer edges to set up the edges to make it look a little more realistic. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials, visit our website at visioncad.com.